evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds among heavyweights. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. Good block by the Dream. Don't stay in one spot. Precision work with the left hand by Dynamite. Clean shot with the right. Now he ties up there. Mm. <laughs> Locks that felt line well. On, the dreams in bad shape. A thunderous punch able to land to the head. Joe, oh, he thought he was out of range. He wasn't. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. And something you got to start early and stay with. 90 seconds to go here in this round. by a huge hook to the head. Keep working oh. the body. Nowhere close that punch by Dynamite. Committing to the work downstairs, he puts forth a right hand. Right to the body. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in a film library. Watchman hammering Hank, the great Henry Armstrong. Never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Carry it away and you catch him. You got that? It's going to happen. You're going to catch him. You're going to... Stay tight, stay tight. Keep jabbing and hitting. Keep him in front of you, okay? Don't let him move around too much. Cut the ring off, then get off. But set the power shot up with the jab. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement, good to go. Nice block that time, it was intended to the head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Nice work, the left hand to the head. 
Good return fire that time. What? Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. left by the dream. Nice work with the uppercut. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. The Dreams defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. He is stunned, but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. That uppercut absolutely <clears throat> rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. The dream's damaged right now, Teddy. That last round was really costly to him. He can't go on fighting like that. No, not unless he goes back to one of those Star Trek episodes where you had Scotty. You remember Scotty used to beat me up? Well, right about now he's saying, Scotty, beat me the heck out of here. Otherwise, he better get his hands up and start fighting. Listen, I need to see more confidence, okay? Whenever he misses, count him. Hey, don't waste it. Yeah. But I want you to keep those hands moving. And round number three is underway. Dynamite's got that look to him like he's ready to fire off, and that time between rounds served him well. Oh, what a whiff by the dream. The dream's got to deal with a cut cheek. Unable to make an impact there by Dynamite. Joseph, relax. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. The dream's giving me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the non-stop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. Halfway through this round here, he missed that uppercut. Dynamite's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. A solid left hand by Dynamite. Keep doing what you're doing.
Dynamite's punch didn't come close. Hey, you got to get some of that too now. Come on, let's go. Last 10 seconds. The Dream's effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm wondering now, he's ahead right now in this part of the fight, but I'm wondering if he's getting discouraged because it didn't have the effect on his opponent he wanted it to. Take a deep breath, good job. Now this is your night. Keep closing the gap. Now when you get close to him, fast combinations to the body. He doesn't like them shots to the body. Listen. While things continue like this, this is going to be an interesting stretch run of this fight. Beginning of round number four. Uppercut that just crashed home. The dream's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Oh, yeah, like uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Dynamite's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? No, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Jab. How about that left hand? Seconds to go in round number four. Pace yourself. That's okay. That's all right. Now pay him back. Go pay him back. Dynamite's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. Now hugging on the inside. Able to cover up that gut. Big shot there. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Side, 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 side. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Dynamite. And that does it for this round. Dynamite's knockdown in that last round has really got his corner pumped up here. Okay, jab. Come on, whatever you do, you throw that jab, baby. If you're standing straight up, move that body. You need to move that body more. Don't waste your punches out there. Be smart or you're going to die.
He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough. When he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. He's tired. He's tired, champ. Come on, now's your chance. Not able to land the headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. The dream stunned by a big shot. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Keep moving. Keep moving. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Dynamite showing that he has an understanding yeah, about good balance, work, work. about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Double jab by Dynamite. He is stunned. He could go down. Solid. That was a big shot that floored him. And it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. It's Singapore. Boy, it went down Two, quick. Three, four, five, six. And it's over. Look at this. The Dreams night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Dynamite's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.